Well, this evening I'm going to be doing some upgrades to my CNC plasma table. I ordered some parts a week ago and they showed up in the mail yesterday. I ordered a couple of these Gecko Drive G213Vs, one for my X and one for my Y axis. And you know, I, I spent some time on their website and I looked at them on eBay and, and everything else and I guess I was expecting something bigger. These things are really, really small. Uh, they're like, uh, you know, about a quarter of the size of the boards that I have in there right now. But, uh, but that's okay, they pack a lot into a small package. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm upgrading to these Gecko drives is that my old drives were not capable of micro-stepping. And these Gecko drives will do 10 micro-steps, which should give me uh, roughly 10 times the resolution that I have right now. And uh, my Y-axis has been operating pretty smooth, but the X-axis, particularly at slow speeds, gets pretty noisy. It buzzes and it uh, kind of shimmies and shakes just a little bit. And that makes for, um, I don't know, kind of rough cuts when the X-axis is moving slow. So, I've read the instruction manual and uh, these things ought to be a pretty quick install. I'll go ahead and get them in there. We'll start with the X-axis and, and uh, see if it improves the, the motion. I've got the Gecko Drive installed on the X-axis and I'm still running my old stepper drive on the Y-axis. And uh, I just ran it through a couple of jogs here, but uh, wow, it has solved all of my problems. I'm uh, very pleased. It was money well spent. The, uh, just based on the math here, it turns out that my old stepper drives were micro-stepping, but just at two micro-steps. I have the Gecko set to ten micro-steps right now, and uh, I've got all the tuning done here. And uh, I can run this uh, x-axis at a really, really low speed, and it's just about silent. It's, uh, it's perfect. So, a good example here, I've got the feed speed turned way down for the, uh, on the jogging. And I'm still running my old stepper motor drive on the y-axis. So the y-axis was the quiet one before, uh, the quieter of the two. So, but it's super noisy now running that old drive. So I'm going to go ahead and jog both x and y-axis at slow speed, and you can hear the difference. So here's the y-axis. Pretty noisy at the slow speed. So here's the x-axis. Now the x-axis used to be really, really noisy. It was definitely, it just made a horrible, almost a grinding kind of noise. The stepper motor would, would jitter and jog around and it just really didn't sound good at all. But with that new Gecko drive on there, the thing is just perfect. And I'll slow it down to its, uh, as slow as I can go on the slider bar. But just nearly silent operation on that x-axis. The y-axis is, is very noisy. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this installation a little bit and get the uh, other Gecko drive installed for the y-axis. I've got the Gecko drives installed for both the x and y-axis now, and I just decided to take the old stepper motor drives off of the aluminum heat sinks and reuse those for the geckos. Now, according to the documentation for the geckos, I don't need heat sinks because I'm only running uh, right, right around one amp per phase. It only needs an additional heat sink if I'm running at least three amps per phase, but I figure a little bit of additional heat sink doesn't hurt anything. So that's how I got those installed. And I went ahead and tuned them, set up the acceleration and maximum speeds and everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and run the same Suzuki program that I ran in a prior video just so we can have something to compare against as far as motor smoothness and noise. So the program's complete, 
As you can see, the motors operated nearly silently, very smooth even at the slow speeds. So I am really happy with these Gecko drives. Definitely a, an upgrade worth doing. Probably should have done it earlier, but uh, now I know. So I'll definitely be buying another one of these when I do my Z-axis on here. And that'll be my next project. I'm going to spend a little bit more time researching my options for torch height control, but that ought to be the next thing that I'm working on on this table.